And if you enjoy something within fiction, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you in reality. And it doesn't mean that you're okay with it in reality. And maybe you don't know, but maybe there is some trauma behind that. And then you adding on to that trauma is some bullshit. Fiction is not reality. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Moody Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I want to talk about a controversial topic because is it me if I'm not just talking here controversy? Is it? I wanted to talk about something that I saw on Twitter, which by the way, when I first joined Twitter, I was like, oh my god, this is such a nice place full of people that are really understanding and such a nice community. And then I was like, oh my god, this is a clusterfuck. I still appreciate the book community on Twitter, but it's kind of cray cray. That aside, um, I saw a tweet that was like, yes to supporting uh, age difference romance, no to supporting... Like, they, they listed things that it's okay for you to support when you're reading um, any kind of romance in books and one of the things they listed as no you cannot support this was incest and as you guys know I have a thing for incest in book in books oh my god in books I, the, this video would be so demonetized if I was monetized oh god why why am I even making this video but that also got me thinking because you know me I apparently have nothing better to do with my time than think about a trope that is really popular on booktube and nobody is talking about the fact that maybe falling in love for the guy that's trying to kill you is not cool. That whole enemies to lovers, he's trying to kill me but in the end we fall in love. I think that's a bit more problematic than a brother and sister getting it on. And I think this is the new bad guy turned good situation and I don't think enough people are talking about that I think we're kind of hiding behind this whole oh no but when he realizes that he like actually doesn't want to kill her and I'm like why would you want to be with somebody that wanted to kill you in the first place and I don't think people are taking accountability for the fact that this is problematic again I don't mind people reading problematic things. What the fuck ever? Half the shit we read is problematic. Most classics are problematic. But it's fiction. And fiction is not reality. And you're allowed to enjoy your kinky shit in fiction. Not in reality. Uh, this reminds me of the author of Gideon the Ninth and how this person was forced, forced by the book community to admit to the fact that they were writing pedophilia i think it was um fan fiction or something in order to deal with trauma from their life and because somebody writes about this doesn't mean they're okay with that like i don't i don't know what like I don't know what I have to say to get it through people's heads that just because you write about something doesn't mean that that's okay. Like, you think that's okay. Do you think that V.E. Schwab, who wrote Vicious, thinks that it's okay that these two people try to kill each other all through this? Do you think that Sarah J. Mass is okay with a, like a girl becoming an assassin? Do you, why is it that you only think about these things when it comes to sexual relationships? Oh yeah, I have a video about that. I'll link it up here. I actually have two videos about that, so I'll link the other one up here. Just stop kink shaming. Also, also remember that fiction is not reality. How many times am I gonna have to say that on this channel? Fiction is not fucking reality. And if you enjoy something within fiction, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you in reality. And it doesn't mean that you're okay with it in reality. And I am tired of, be of seeing people being like, oh my God, you support this in this book, so you support it in real life. No, bitch. No. That's not how that functions. Maybe some people do, but I believe the majority of people are just here to get away from the real world. Again, do I support a relationship like Jane Eyre and Mr. Rochester in real life? No. Do I shit the hell out of them? Yes, 
I do. Even though it's probably not good. Do I support a relationship like Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet in uh, Pride and Prejudice? In reality, no. In the book? Oh, no, in the book I also don't. But anyway, that's another story for another day. I just don't like them together. But it's okay if you do. Do I support a relationship like Bella and what's his face? Edward? Like, in the reality, first of all, don't get with a vampire. Also, vampires in reality, cool beans. But no, just stop this shit. And if you are too young to understand the difference between fact and fiction and real life and fiction and enjoying something in fiction and enjoying it in real life, then you shouldn't fucking be reading books. I'm sorry I got so angry during this video. It's just that it kind of pisses me off because here's the thing. There's a lot of people that are discovering their kinks and their like sexual preferences and things that they like in bed or, or fantasies that they have that explore them through reading books and by shaming them and by telling them that it's not okay and by being like, if you read this, then you are shit. You are actually creating more of a problem for these people to be able to express themselves in a correct and consensual and enjoyable manner. And that is how a lot of sexual repression is formed. So instead of saying, don't read XYZ whatever because I don't think that that's right, how about try to educate people about where these kinks come from, link them to articles online where it talks, where doctors actually talk about where these kinks come from, and if somebody is having tendencies towards something that is not good then you know those doctors and unless you're a doctor then you know what the fuck are you doing trying to play doctor you know let the professionals be the ones that deal with it and not shame people for liking whatever shit they like and maybe you don't know but maybe there is some trauma behind that and then you adding on to that trauma is some bullshit so just stop it just stop acting like you know what you're talking about when you don't and i understand that a lot of these people are doing this with their best intentions in mind but they're actually hurting people that might actually need help and now because they read a fucking tweet on the internet won't even talk about this with the people they're supposed to be talking about it with or you know there's really nothing wrong with it there really isn't because fiction is not reality I'm done with this subject. I really am done with this subject. I'm done with people playing doctor when all they are is somebody on the internet who doesn't have a doctor's license. How about you don't fuck someone up further with your high horse? How about that? I'm just gonna go because I'm fucking angry, so yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.